The hijab has been a trending topic for years and it's something that is associated very closely with female Muslim conduct. Muslim women traditionally cover their heads with the Islamic principle of dressing modestly in mind. And we're about to explore facts about the hijab. So what's going on everybody? My name is Leroy Kenton. First thing you gotta know is that a hijab means curtain or partition. It does not mean headscarf. The Quran uses forms of the words kimir and jilbab but not the actual word hijab when it comes to describing being a woman's dress. Now the kimir means cover and is what we would call a scarf and a jilbab is an outer garment. But now the term hijab has become a normal way of describing a Muslim woman's head covering. But Sharia rules on modesty are about more than just covering the hair. It deals a lot with your entire attire, your conduct in public, all really to protect people from sexual advances that are very inappropriate. So much more I can say about that but moving on to the next fact. There are many many different forms of hijab. The hijab comes in many different shapes and there are some that cover parts of your face, some that cover other parts of the body as well. So hijabs aren't just one style. A woman has options based on her preference. But it's not just women that this applies to. Did you know that hijab also applies to men as well? Because the overarching meaning of hijab is to live one's life modestly, the hijab also applies to men. So while not as well known outside of the Muslim community, men also really strive to wear the hijab both physically as well as mentally. So who can Muslims take off the hijab for? Well, the hijab can really only be taken off in front of the family members of a woman and a Muslim woman wearing the hijab will usually not show her hair to any man that's not related to her by blood. Now in countries like Saudi Arabia and Iran, Muslim women are actually compelled by law to wear the hijab. Other countries both in Europe as well as in the Muslim world on the flip side have passed laws banning some or all types of the hijab in public or in certain types of places. So there's like a complete polarity when it comes to the hijab based on the country that you're in. But nevertheless, women who wear the hijab, they really have started to find a lot more of their strength. And now there's even this term called hijab that goes around. That's really a term for women who wear the hijab, but it's not like an official term or anything, so you won't find it in the dictionary. Also, hijabs are not worn all the time. Usually the hijab is taken off at home or when hanging out in places where it's like for sure just women only there. And the main thing is that the hijab is worn in front of men who women are not closely related to, like I mentioned earlier. And it's not just Muslim women that cover their hair. In some branches of Judaism and Christianity, women and men also cover their hair. Just look at nuns, the Amish people, Sikhs, and you'll also find this in other religions as well. So it's not really accurate to say that hijab only applied to Muslims. It's not just a Muslim thing. You'll find it everywhere. And the final thing I want to share is that if you look at history, when we look at the pre-Islamic societies, like really before Islam really took the hijab as a faith accessory, the veil was actually representing of an upper class status. So for example, in Mediterranean societies, women would wear veils to show that they were wealthy. However, prostitutes and slaves, they were not allowed to wear the veil at all. There's also similar rules that applied to Greek and Persian societies as well. So that's all I have for you guys in this episode. I hope this video really helped to give you more insight into the hijab. And let me know, do you wear any form of head covering? Share your responses down below in the comment section. I know I usually wear a hat. It's not for religious reasons or anything. Well, it's just because, you know, I'm a little insecure. My hairline's running away. <laughs> so guys, if you found this video helpful, why not check out a similar video right here. Tap the annotation right here on your screen. Also, my social media links are below, so you can follow me over there as well. I do my best to respond as quickly as possible over there, especially on Instagram. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss any of our daily episodes here on FTV Facts. All right, guys, can't wait to see you tomorrow.